What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in React. Now, for those of you who have never heard of React before, or maybe you have heard of it but you're trying to look at the website and you're like, okay, I'm trying to read these definitions and still have no idea what the heck this thing is. Um, a library for building user interfaces? Okay, um, I can just do that with like HTML. So why would I ever want to use React? Well, React allows you to build websites or web pages where if any part of your web page changes or is dynamic, then you can use React for it. So let me give you guys an example of when React would be awesome. So say that you're making some kind of social network and you had notifications at the top of your screen like Facebook. Well, instead of having to refresh your page every time to see when you got a new notification, you can just use React and then whenever you got a new notification, it would update in real time. So another thing that uh, people use React a lot for is, say that you're building like some kind of chat application. So um, you're chatting with your friends, of course, same thing you don't want to have to refresh the page every single time to check if you got a new chat message you just want to look at the web page and it automatically updates whenever you get these messages so react is awesome for that stuff like I don't know maybe you're making um, some like stock program and you just want the prices to update in real time boom react now before I start showing you guys you know all the code and stuff I want to mention this react this library that I'm gonna be showing you guys this is only for the view so you know the look of your web page it updates in real time it's nothing to do with server or back end stuff so you know like all your data coming into your server and your database getting more data in real time that's entirely separate this is just for making awesome views or you know the design that updates in real time or changes in some kind of way so that's you know the kind of simplified version of react and there's also um, you know a bunch of other benefits and stuff we'll get into later on but I just want to give you guys you know a real quick introduction to get you guys this feet wet so sounds pretty cool how do we get started well the first thing you need is of course a web page so right here I just have a blank web page right here and let me show you guys how blank it is pretty exciting and let me move these around a little bit so that's my starting point so just make a regular old HTML page index.html now we have a couple options of how we can include the react library the source code that we need to get started so one way that we can get all the code is we can go to the react homepage which is this facebook.github.io slash react and we can click download react download it extract it pull it out and stick all the source code in our project or a much easier way is just to include the files that are already on the CDN. Now a CDN is just a server that has this library already on it and what I did is to make things incredibly easy for you guys is if you go to my github page and that's github.com slash Bucky Roberts and click on source code from tutorials click on react and I already made you guys a really simple template and this is pretty much a bare bones template just to get started your bare starting point so this is the code that I'm gonna be going over in either this tutorial or the next tutorial but take all of these these three scripts right here and copy them and then we can just include these in our HTML so instead of having to download it anything and extract it and move it into the proper project this can just include these and you're good to go alright so that was easy we're ready to start typing react now but before we do let me explain exactly what you just pasted in so this right here is just the react library so that's what we're gonna be learning in this tutorial and this is if you were to download it this is what you would get now this right here is something called the JSX transformer now JSX is a special type of syntax that you can type instead of just typing pure JavaScript. Oh crap, so now not only am I gonna have to learn React, I'm gonna have to learn this stupid syntax too. Well, believe it or not, this syntax right here is a lot easier to understand than just typing pure JavaScript. So instead of, you know, referencing every element and, you know, just typing confusing JavaScript, this allows you to, and you're gonna see 
what I'm talking about later on. It's kind of confusing now, but you're pretty much going to be able to type plain old HTML and your brain just thinks of it like, okay, this is just regular HTML, but what this transformer does is it behind the scenes, it translates it all into JavaScript so your web page can read it. So we just type it like we think of it and how it's easy to understand and this takes care of all the hard part. And this right here, this is just jQuery. Oh, what the heck? jQuery, as soon as I said that, like a bug flew in my throat. So anyways, how easy was that to set up? We now know what React is. It sounds pretty awesome. That's all we need to do. We can now start typing it. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a basic React component, what they are, and how you can include them in your web page. It's going to be awesome. See you then.